Astrid's gonna kill us if we don't get this right. Oh, kill? Because of this shit set. Spent weeks preparing for the final flight of Kyle Crane, and now it's all gone to hell. Knowing Astrid, she'll be pissed. The final flight of Kyle Crane? Uh, hello? Every spectacle at Carnage Hall has its own theme. Astrid and I used to brainstorm each one together. Every fight is a performance, and the fighters are its stars. And once, this place featured proper shows. But now, it's just a slaughterhouse. The PK will shut us down for sure. But the PK want to shut you down? Of course. You've seen what goes on here. Too many people dying in the arena. It used to be uh, one or two per tournament by accident. But now, <laughs> there's too many accidents. Especially since some of those accidents are PKs. Matt's had enough of that. So you build sets for Carnage Hall, huh? No, I run around with a hammer for fun. Of course I build sets. And every fight, the sets get wrecked, so we always need new ones. Sounds like you use a lot of materials. Luckily, the city ain't short on empty apartments. You wouldn't believe what these set pieces are made of. Old beds, tables, tools. But God forbid any of this doesn't match her vision. Her? Astrid. You know, sometimes she brings us a new script hours before a fight, and we gotta build a set pronto. Don't have to be a gladiator for Carnage Hall to wear you out. So have you known Astrid for long? Too long. So you two aren't besties? Not anymore. We were. When we both worked at the VNC. Well, now she's got her own show. Without the bleeps and viewer warnings. The Carnage in Carnage Hall. It used to be just a catchy name. Now it's her motto. Well, in that case, good luck. You're the one who'll need the luck. But thanks. Oh, uh, wait. About Astrid. I had this idea. Not long ago, Astrid hired a biographer to immortalize my uh, accomplishments, as she said. Somehow he managed to collect a lot of material highlighting Astrid's past. She's changed so much, but maybe if we found the biographer's documentation and showed it to Astrid, maybe it'd knock sense back into her. Well, if I find anything like that, I'll let you know. And I'll be here, freaking out over my deadlines. Rune. Here I am. I found a poster, a uh, grand opening. Oh, I remember that. The town went crazy for it. No one had seen anything like it since before the fall. Stands were always packed. You know, for a few hours, people felt normal again. Safe. A rune. What did you find? Old arena rules. Well, things were very different. We thought this place would bring peace to the city. How so? Astrid hoped that Bazarians, peacekeepers, and renegades fighting in the same arena, following the rules in the spirit of competition, that it would do something. Clearly, that didn't happen. Hey, Rune? Yeah, I found something else. It's an article about how Astrid was, uh, canceled. You are a babe in the woods. <laughs> Once upon a time, People didn't need arenas to tear each other to pieces. They did it online. What do you mean? They lynched Astrid for an interview that went sideways. Companies pulled their advertising, the network fired her. They made a meme of her. Snowball effect. Let's uh, not show this one to Astrid. Interesting. Rune. Yes? I found a magazine. Astrid was a celebrity, wasn't she? Huge. By Villador standards, at least. Hosted one of the most watched political news shows in Europe. Astrid was a hard-hitting, no-compromise journalist. People loved her. Until they didn't. We have all the materials we need. We come back. 
I'll show them to Astrid and try to reason with her. Hey, Rune? Hey, have you seen Rune? I, I was supposed to meet her. She was fired. What? What happened? Astrid summoned her. They argued about Sammy. Something from the past, they say. Now Rune is gone. And I've got a new job. Well, where is she now? As far as I know, Rune was thrown into a night arena. Had nothing to do with it, I swear. But here, take this. Just a little something for your trouble. <laughs>